Hi guys, what I want to talk about today as fast as possible is the difference function. This is a CLI function. So as fast as possible, what it lets us do is look at all of the changes we've made to our current configuration. It's a great way of making sure that you've got a backup on all those settings that you put so much time into finding. Stick with me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, load up the quad and we'll go from there and I'll just show you a really quick way to do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna hit the connect button. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from the setup down to the CLI as usual. Just remember, check out the uh, primer that I did on the CLI if you need a little bit of intro to it at all. This shouldn't be that complicated at all. All I'm gonna type here is uh, diff and all. Now what you should see is we're gonna get a full write-up of everything that we've actually changed. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go all the way back up, copy everything. So highlight it, hit copy. I'm gonna go, I made a file earlier just to keep things simple. So you just want a, a blank text document here. I'm just going to control V or hit paste. I'm gonna right click it, paste it. And then I've, then I've got everything backed up here. Uh, from there, save it. Hit exit. Double check it's saved. It's all good. And from there, we have a backup on all of the um, settings that we've actually changed on the quad. We could just completely update the quad, rewrite all the settings back to scratch, and we could very quickly um, get our settings back up to where we want them to be. Um, so I encourage you every so often to just make sure that you use the difference function or the diff. Just type diff all, hit enter, copy that, drop that into a new file, just put it, put a date on it and then you have a backup. But on that, thanks for watching. Uh, watch out, these videos tend to come in twos. So there's um, a second part to this video coming which goes into a little bit more depth. Uh, I'm gonna use the difference function to talk about something slightly different and uh, I'll show you that in the next video. So thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you back here really soon for the next video. Bye.